All right, hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Himanshu, and we are starting our masterclass on Lightning Web Components. This is going to be more like chapter one of our journey, or rather chapter two after the brief introduction we did. And I would start walking you through certain things as usual would be around the theoretical part of it, and then we'll jump into things that would make more sense around the curriculum. All right, so be with me. Just stick with what what what's being taught, what's being explained, and try to make sense out of out of it. If you do not really understand certain things, feel free to put your questions. The question can be really curious. The question can be really dumb. The question can be very sensible. The question could be very curious. Any and every kind of questions are entertained. Any and every kind of questions is a valid question. Don't feel free to or you know don't restrict yourself. Put that question out there, and I'll try to respond the best way I can. All right. Awesome. So let's. understand why why this master class why this tutorials why this set of 4 to 6 months of journey that you and i are on in right so why lwc is the future why lightning web components is the future and also i think i have a new picture now uh, the the previous picture has been overused and you see that pretty much everywhere so i thought let's let's try something else and uh, uh, let me know how this looks all right great why lightning web components is the future is the first thing i would like to tell you all right so lightning web components on salesforce is built on modern web standards all right so es6 plus is nothing but a version of javascript and what 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 are modern web standards they basically mean that you know you should be able to use the native web components you should be able to use the shadow dom you should be able to use javascript in implicit inherited javascript like es6 all right what that does is that brings salesforce development in sync with modern development frameworks all right so what we were doing with salesforce was we started off with visual force right that was more like a proprietary thing then we moved on to aura and then we moved on to lwc the primary idea behind moving on to lwc is kind of going back to the basics and trying to build things that can be easily integrated with the modern development frameworks All right, that's the whole idea behind why LWC is the future for Salesforce. Okay, so what does that do? The first point tells you that it reduces the reliability on proprietary frameworks. What are proprietary frameworks? Something that you build on your own and keep it for yourself, and you do not make it open for the public. Right. So Aura is more like just Salesforce language, right? Visual Force is only a Salesforce language. You cannot use it outside of Salesforce, correct? But if I talk about HTML, JavaScript, CSS, can you use that outside of Salesforce also? Yes. So that's the modern web standard. Okay. Example I've kept here is uh, feature phones to smartphones. So why do you really need LWC? So Himanshu, we do have Aura components, we do have Visual Force. Now why is Salesforce uh, putting their head into Lightning Web components? We have to learn it all again, and we have to uh, upskill ourselves. What is the reason? So you see. you can you can have a feature phone which is more like a nokia 1100 or probably some some basic nothing phone that lets you do the basic stuff like put a alarm look at the clock send out a message and you know get calls and co make calls to people but why do you move to smartphones right the reason is because you get more flexibility you get more features you get something better with the same kind of functions that you want to use right and that is more global that is more acceptable so you would also want to onboard yourself into that and that's why you shifted from smart uh, from feature phones to smartphones that's what all of us did right we wanted to do video calls we wanted to talk in meets we wanted to talk in zoom so we moved to smartphones instead of just a feature phone and that's similarly why you have to onboard yourself and upskill yourself into lightning web components because that's your gateway and that's the transition from feature phones to smartphones i mean just an example okay another thing lwc leverages native browser capabilities and improved rendering and reduced latency so all of these are better features compared to what we are currently doing in salesforce okay so native browser capabilities kind of means you know that you should be able to handle and tackle browser events you should not be rely reliable on you know uh, something of your own you should be able to use cache you should be able to you know reduce the latency now flickering uh, you know pixelation better css so all of that now what is what is an example that i have put here i have put driving in a narrow road versus in a highway so what's better really for the car and for you to drive as an experience or overall it's better to drive in a highway right a narrow road can create blockers for you right and it might slow down your speed so why would you want that if you are given a highway you would prefer that because your speed would be good you would be seamless and that's the whole idea the latency would be reduced all right 
the third point i've kept of as to why lwc is the future is it is rather not complicated but simplified development by reducing the boiler plate code and a lot of reusable components are there okay what that means is that i am giving you pretty much all the ingredients that you need and you can create a recipe out of it okay the example i've put here is lego blocks right so if i tell you to build something from scratch more like a toy it would take more time but if i tell you that these are the four lego blocks and if you just put them together you'll get a big car out of it would that be easier would that be relevant would that be faster yes that's the same idea with lightning web components all right so the boilerplate code see what is boilerplate code that kind of means that you know a code that you have to write every time but could be automated or could be you know minified or could be compacted right so if you have to do a let's say you have to write a you have to create a text field or an input field why do i need to create an algorithm or a or a code that always has to you know help me with building that input field what if i get a stub what if what if that stub if i just import for myself i can directly use it right so that's boiler plate code which is reduced by using reusable components so reusability is a very is a key factor in lightning web components and we'll understand why that is an example okay the other thing is that it is tightly integrated with the salesforce ecosystem pretty much like everything apex visual force it is very much lwc is also tightly integrated which means that you can use the salesforce database you can call apex you can integrate it in your salesforce ui okay and you can use something called lightning data service what that is basically is you get to create records without you know having a lot of uh, trouble in your code you can create records you can modify records you can you know view records so that data service is more like a plugin that you get and you can easily leverage it for salesforce related operations more like database operations okay and finally why lwc is the future future is because aura is being phased out okay now salesforce is not really investing or upgrading aura components and lwc is going to be the primary development framework moving forward which is why you and i both have to be on lwc we cannot just say that you know i know aura so i will be able to work in projects no that's not the thing we have to move into lwc we have to stay we have to stay upgraded and we have to stay updated and we have to learn lwc and because this is going to be the primary development framework so if you want to build anything custom you have to start with lwc no more aura okay now why is that i put another example it's like investing in electric cars which is the future so if today you want to buy a car and you see that you know you have a car that runs on petrol or runs on diesel or runs hybrid or runs green you know that you know the world is going to slowly shift into electric cars at least hybrid we are already here almost but they start shifting green they'll start shifting into electric cars so why not jump into that and you know invest into that and or and not stick into the previous uh, technology so it's like that because it is being phased out you don't want to stick and stay with aura that would kind of mean that you are also outdated right you have to be updated so lwc is going to be the future you have to jump into it and be part of it that's the whole idea all right so i hope this really made sense it's just a basic understanding of why lwc is the future why lwc is here to stay and why salesforce is too much interested and invested into lightning web components and for the same reasons we also have to be invested and interested all right great that's all i wanted to cover as part of this tutorial i'll see you in the next one bye